Are you trying to figure out what tree stand to buy for the area and the type of hunting you do? First off, let's figure out whether you're a, a mobile hunter or a family farm hunter. Both of them are great, I do both of them. If you're a mobile hunter, you're probably looking for something lightweight, maybe a light, small lock-on with some light sticks. You want something that you can pack easily in and out every day. Maybe you're a public land hunter or you, you hike in miles at a time. I would suggest a lightweight lock-on, light sticks, or maybe a, a light climber, or, or even a saddle. If you're what I call a family farm hunter, you're probably looking for something that you can leave up all season or, or leave up for long periods of time. Maybe a large lock-on with a big platform, comfort, or a, a ladder stand, maybe a single or a double stand uh, if you're trying to hunt with a kid or, or with your wife or something. Also, pay attention to the area you want to hunt. What's, what's the terrain look like? What kind of trees are in that area? Where's the canopy? You know, how high do you want to be? Do you want to be 12 foot, 15 foot, 18 foot? 20 foot, where do you need to be to conceal yourself or where you feel most comfortable? A lot of ladder stands will go into trees that a lock-on won't, or maybe your lock-on will go on a tree that you can't get your ladder stand in. So, so pay attention to the, the trees in the area you're wanting to hunt. Hopefully, all this will help you determine whether you need a lock-on, whether you need a ladder stand, whether you need a climber or a saddle, or you may have to be on the ground and may have to build your blind or, or get a ground blind. Now that we've hopefully narrowed down what, what type of stand to buy, always make sure to be attached to the tree. Whether you're hanging the stand, climbing into the stand, sitting in the stand, always have some sort of safety harness on. And double check your straps and cables. Time wears out that stuff, sun can wear out that stuff, squirrels, mice, everything can chew through a strap at some point in time. Just be safe out there.